somewhere. I know you're well and happy. It's, it's two people that are surviving out in a sort of wild environment and you sort of wonder why and as the story develops you get more and more sort of bits of information that will tell you why they're there and how they get out. Thank you for looking after us. Thank you for giving us strength. We love you. For me, it's a beautiful love story. How much someone loves someone to try and rescue them from something, you know, that they can sort of escape from on their own mentally and how much they'll put up with from someone because they love them so much. So for me, that was the emotional impact when I read the script. And I, I loved that they had this unusual circumstances that they would be living in literally a hole in the ground. And I kind of was like, oh, a couple in a hole, what's that about? Oh, it's about a couple in a hole. And I just kind of really liked that. I, I liked the extreme of their um, circumstances. Please, please, please go. I, I, I don't want to. Please, please go. You go away and you don't come back. Because I could have easily put this story in a suburban context where a couple basically locks themselves up in a house, a house yeah, and then and some neighbours start to like become second. investigative and uh -huh. all that stuff. So it could have been that. But now by putting it into sort of a more fantastical arena with the grief totally isolated in itself, it almost makes it almost like a, a fable. It gives it sort of that mystery, the uh -huh. magic realism to and, it, I think. And it also makes the story much purer because there is so little character. So when, you know, you've got Karen and John, I might say much, but when, you know, another character does enter into the picture, it's, it's a big impact. You want to stay here forever? I can't leave you here! 